and welcome to In the Community. And visiting right now is Sienna Marie Sesma, and it's so good to have you back with us. Thank you, it's great to be here. Well, I tell you what, you're participating in an event that's coming up in fairly short order. It's the Oxnard Salsa Festival. Yes, I'm very excited. And so you're one of the people that is representing a nonprofit to go out there and raise money for this nonprofit. Yes. And you're down in the final countdown here. How's it going with the rehearsals? Oh, it, the rehearsals are going great. Luvi Hernandez is my dance partner, and we're having a great time dancing as often as possible and as hard as possible. <laughs> now, every dancer like yourself is representing a nonprofit. Yes. And you're raising money for that nonprofit. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the nonprofit that you're raising money for. The, our organization is called Art Spark, and that is the Youth Education Arts Program through the Santa Paula Art Museum. And we do outreach art programs throughout Ventura County, out into the schools. We also have art classes and art functions for the youth at the museum, as well as after school programs with the Boys and Girls Club. Phenomenal, and Santa Paula is, you know, they've got a great historic downtown there and so many things going on in Santa Paula. Yes, yes, and the fact, the building that the Santa Paula Art Museum is um, been around since the early 1900s and it's just a phenomenal building, just beautiful history. It was um, actually an, a, a business office building before they converted it into Santa Paula Art Museum, also known as the Jeanette Cole Art Center. So you have that out there in people can participate and you're gearing this did you say for young people yes yes the program are for youth students um, elementary school pr primarily but there are, are other programs for high school students as well you know and it's probably a very good thing to have young people like this get involved with drawing and other forms of art because a lot of the programs that i grew up with mm -hmm. You know, they've been removed from the schools because of cost cutbacks. Yes, they've been completely removed, and it's proven that this, these types of programs really help with um, creativity and stimulation of their brain and, and, and so many other things that are so important. And not only are we offering um, painting and drawing classes, but we're also going to expand the program to a strings program as well as a dance and movement program. Well, let's talk a little bit talking about dance. Mm -hmm. You've got the Salsa Festival, and you know, every vote that you gain is based on dollars donated, and yes. you've got some events coming up we do. that people can participate in. Yes, this Saturday, uh, July 23rd, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Luby's Latin Studio, which is located at 106 North 10th Street, right in Santa Paula, we're going to have an event called Luby's Move and Groove, and it's a fitness party with Zumba, salsa aerobics, belly dancing, and yoga class with some rest in between. And that's only uh, 5 to $15, depending on how many classes. And all the money goes to ArtSpark. And then on August 6th, we're going to have a poker night at Garmin's Irish Pub and Restaurant in downtown Santa Paula. And they can find out all that information on santapaulaartmuseum.org. You can register, you can vote, you can do everything on that website. So you mentioned belly dancing. You know, I translate that into naval maneuvers. Yes, that would definitely be that. <laughs> yeah. Or football, you see the backfield in motion. Yes. So if people wanted more information, you gave a website, but yes. is there a telephone number that people can contact you if they want more information? Absolutely. You can call the museum directly at 805-525-5554. Yep. Okay, very good. And if you'll repeat that one more time. Yes, I will. The Museum, Santa Paula Art Museum phone number is 805-525-5554 or you can go to santapaulaartmuseum.org for all the information about the charity, donations, and our events. Now the art museum is located where? It's at 117 North 10th Street, right downtown Santa Paula. So you're right there in historic downtown Santa Paula. Yeah, right next door to the Oil Museum, which is another um, one of our popular museums in downtown. You know, Santa Paula, you know, we talked a, a little bit about this before we started our uh, taping here today. In Santa Paula, you can go to five different countries via restaurants yes. in just a small area. Two blocks. Two blocks. Two blocks. Can you illuminate us to what kind of food we can... Yes, you could have American food which just good old steak and potatoes, Cajun food, Irish food, Spanish, 
or Mexican food and Italian. Wow. Yeah. So, I love that. <laughs> it is. Boy, I'm going to make a, a trip out of Santa Paula very soon. Mm -hmm. You know, I love Santa Paula anyway. I tell you, one of my favorite hangouts really is to go to airports, mm -hmm. small airports. And I like, really enjoy the Santa Paula airport. Got a lot of history to that in and of itself. And um, yeah, it's, it's really a great place to visit. And speaking of history of the, muse of the um, airport, right now the current show at the Santa Paula Art Museum is the Art of Aviation. Wow. That just opened up this past Saturday. Wow, I'm going to have to come out there and take a look. Please do. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming by. Thank and you. best of luck to you coming up at the Salsa Festival. Yes, thank you. And uh, you're free to come back anytime you want and let us know what's going on with the Art Museum. Appreciate it. All right. For, Anna, or for Santa Marie Sesma, I'm Bill DeFoy. You've been watching In the Community, a production of the Heritage Media Group.